Hi there, and let's get to it. The next palette we're looking at will be the Color Match palette. Now this only works in conjunction with a series of color checker palettes. They look just like the one in the viewer, and if you click in the top right corner, you can reveal all the types of color checkers that are supported. You can buy these in photography specialist shops, and they work a little bit like a white piece of paper does for white balancing in that they offer a reference to the lighting conditions of an environment when captured at the beginning of a scene or a new location or a new lighting layout. So the way this is going to work is you grab a shot of the tablet exposed correctly without shadows or gradients and you feed this color information through to the color match palette. This will then quickly and efficiently neutralize the shot in preparation for grading. The way to calibrate the colors is really simple. Ensure that you pick a frame of the footage where the chart is properly exposed. Indicate which of the color checkers you're using. In this case, it's the x right color checker, and you can see the colors line up perfectly with the chart on screen. Next, you want to identify the source gamma of your footage. Now this is something that you should ask for from the DIT or the DOP or whoever was responsible for noting down these type of camera specs. If this data is incorrect, then the match will also be incorrectly made. Next, you can indicate what your target gamma and your target color space is for your edit. Uh, this is entirely up to you and it can be changed after you've analyzed the chart. And lastly, you've also got the option of changing your color temperature. Once this is all set up, you can click in the bottom left-hand corner of the viewer and select color chart. As you've probably guessed, all of these boxes should correspond to the colors on the chart. So I'm going to move them right here to the edges of the color checker. And however you set this up, just make sure that these boxes are not obscured in any way. And Lastly, we click on Match. Now that change was instantaneous, and I now have much more vibrant colors on my screen and a much more pronounced contrast. I can quickly show you a before and after by bypassing the color match grade that's been applied to this node. The color match window itself now demonstrates the amount by which the color had to be tweaked to match the inbuilt settings. If you find that you are unhappy with the colors that have been output, you can make changes to your target gamma or color space and see an update live. Or you could change your source gamma and click on the word match again. To apply this color match to all the other shots that were captured at the same location using the same lighting, I can select the node that the color space has been applied to, click Ctrl or Command C, select the new clip, and Command V on top of that node. You can see the symbol in the bottom right hand corner indicates that this node is also utilizing the color match palette. You can see that the colors have been calibrated to the same extent. If you're thinking of investing in one of these color checkers, Keep in mind some of the rules for using them. For example, if the lighting conditions change at all, you'll have to grab a new shot of the color checker. And make sure that the entire chart is evenly lit, so there's no gradated shadows or highlights on it. Just like with white balancing, you only want to use the light source that's lighting the rest of the scene, not a dedicated light. Make sure there's no damage to the chart, because even the smallest scratches on the vinyl can affect how the colors are read by the software and make sure that the camera is correctly exposed as well. If you're using any kind of extreme color gels or any lighting with an unusual spectral response, like fluorescent lighting, then you're probably not going to get the right kind of readout from the chart. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time!